The telephone was an antique rotary model. The handset looked greasy. The poster advertised a 1975 Stockholm Music Festival, headlined by a group called the Hairy Lobsters. There was nothing else in the drawer. The folder looked interesting. This was very definitely tampering with evidence. It was a completion of work notice from a company called Vera Security. They weren't the guys we'd recommended. Henri had gone behind our backs to choose a different security outfit. Huh. I'd never heard of Vera Security, but there was an address and phone number on the form. It was a hookah pipe. Those things gave me a headache. A pair of evil eyes stared from a partially covered poster. I didn't imagine Henri as a musician. Henri sure liked this clutter. In the trash can I found a crumpled letter from Henri's credit card company demanding immediate payment. It listed extravagant purchases from a variety of ladies' fashion stores. The address indicated that Henri lived in the chic and expensive 16th arrondissement of Paris. I decided to put the letter back. Henri's financial problems weren't my business. But now I knew where he lived. The calendar looked like a child's school project. Henri had ringed 27th May and scrawled birthday. Poor guy hadn't quite made it to his big day. It was a pretty flamboyant looking clock. The CCTV system was ancient. It took individual shots and recorded them to tape. It looked like I needed to enter a passcode to view the recording. I tried the door code. No luck. Bingo. I rewound the tape to before the robbery. This was the first interesting frame. It was Henri studying La Maledixio. He couldn't have had any idea what was about to happen. Nico and I were taking a look at La Maledixio just before the robbery. Funny, the painting didn't strike me as remarkable at the time, just odd. A good view of La Maledixio. I could kind of see why Father Simeon thought it was evil. There was a certain presence about it. The killer caught in the act. There was nothing really distinctive about him. The moment it all went horribly wrong. The killer making his getaway. A logo on the front of his helmet read Waterloo Motors. That could be useful. The painting was gone. There I was taking a look at the alarm box. Hopefully I didn't look too suspicious. I hadn't thought about that when I was taking a look at the camera. That was the last shot. I got some leads on the killer's identity. A closer look at the painting might be useful. Whoever was wearing that helmet was going to pay for what he did. Poor Henri. This frame caught the moment the killer took the painting. The image was a little fuzzy, but in the center of the painting was what looked like a snake eating its own tail. I thought about what the priest said. There was definitely something unsettling about the picture. 
Monsieur, sir, you have snuck in here, and now you are tampering with my evidence. I wasn't tampering with anything. I was just looking for clues. That is my job, Monsieur... Monsieur... Stobart. George Stobart. Paris Mutual. We insured the exhibition. Oh, really? So... You have plenty to gain from the robbery. Well, uh, no. We have plenty to lose from the robbery. Don't patronize me, monsieur. Only a fool wouldn't know how insurance works. Yeah. No flies on you, inspector. Exactly. I have to get up very early in the morning, which means I can be sure to catch the worm. So I see. May I remind you, monsieur, that a serious crime has been committed. I am going to have to ask you to return to the gallery. Of course, but I do need to ask you a few questions. D'accord, but remember, anything you say can be used against you, monsieur Stobart. Okay, I'll bear that in mind. Do you know anything about a company called Vera Security? No. I have never heard of them. Now, I must get on with my investigation. It's very likely that the security camera holds a clue to the killer's identity. Monsieur, I am a professional, and you are an amateur. So, leave the investigating to me, huh, pal? Monsieur, you are American, no? Yeah, California born and bred. Of course. I think perhaps you are wanting to be like that Starsky and Butch, monsieur. <laughs> no? Rolling around on top of fast cars with beautiful ladies, firing your gun. Interesting idea, Inspector, but not really my style. Indeed. Well, let me tell you something, monsieur. You are my prime suspect. You may go now, but I will need to speak with you again. I had some valuable leads, but before following up on them, I had important business to attend to. Hey, Nico, you want to grab a quick cup of coffee? Sure. I am pleased to announce that I have finished my preliminary investigation. This is now an official crime scene. And you must all go. I shall be questioning all of you again in the coming days. Nobody is to leave the country, particularly you, Monsieur Stobart. Monsieur Lang will stay behind to help secure the premises. Mo? Yes, Inspector. Let them out. Right away, sir. Two coffees, please. Nice work in there, Nico. Whatever you did, it worked. I just made a tiny distraction, and Nave bought it. I think Nave would buy anything if it had blood on it. You know, this whole setup, the theft, the murder, it just doesn't make sense. What do you mean? Like I said, I think it was an inside job. Go on. Someone disabled the alarm, but on just one painting. Let me guess. La Maledicio. Exactly. And I aim to find out who did it. The CCTV picked up an image of the thief. His helmet had the words Waterloo Motors written across it. 
Interesting. I think I got a couple of good shots of him too, but I need to take a better look at them at home. Great. Let me know what you find. Well, the priest thinks La Maledicio is evil. Shaw, sure, she's just crazy. Yeah, you're probably right. But there's something strange going on. I found the address of the security company already employed. It was not the one that I recommended. Good luck with your investigations. Well, I guess I should go. This story won't write itself. And Josh? Yeah? It's good to see you again. Great to see you too, Nico. I watched her walk away. The sound of traffic, the sun shining, a crime to solve, and Nico back in my life.